This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today we're talking about our top three Premiere Pro tips for beginners. And I am here with my good friend, Leela. Hello, nice to meet you. I have a filmmaking channel. It's all about how to make better videos, primarily in Premiere Pro. So I thought that was very fitting for what we were going to be talking about today. And why do we know these tips, you ask? Well, it's because we too were once beginners. And now we're gonna revisit that trauma and all of the mistakes we made for you. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Our first tip is workspaces. So when you first open up Premiere Pro, you'll probably notice that there are different workspaces and all of these workspaces are for different stages of editing. Our tip is to use the editing workspace and if you do any color grading, then the color workspace is really helpful as well. You can customize each workspace if you want. If it doesn't make sense to you, just move around the windows or you can just use the existing ones. Workspaces are really just the layout of your Premiere Pro session. And so working in each of these different workspaces just kind of optimizes the speed and ease, if you will, of moving between different windows and dragging and dropping things. So that's why it's nice to start with the built-in ones and then you can customize them as you start to use the program more and more. So tip number two is to use shortcuts. Now, what are shortcuts? even to begin with, because if you're a true beginner, beginner, if you're a true beginner, 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 you don't even know what I'm talking about. So shortcuts are literally when you're using the keys of your keyboard to switch between different like selection tools, essentially. Yeah, so instead of clicking on a button every time, which can get, you know, a little bit annoying and it will also take, yes. even if it's just a second, it's gonna take a lot of seconds extra to click yeah. on every button. So instead yeah. of that, just keep your hand on the keyboard and use some of the yeah. shortcuts that we're going to be talking about. So a couple of our favorites and there are favorites because everyone needs to know these. So C is for, I remember it by thinking of it as cut, but it's officially called the razor tool. And V is actually a shortcut for the selection tool, which is basically the little arrow. And it's really important <laughs> that after you cut something that you press V again, because otherwise you'll see yourself accidentally cutting your clip, which yeah. you don't want to do. So definitely hit V every time that you yeah. have it after you hit C. And if you're making any cuts, you'll probably see that your timeline might be a little bit small. So in order to zoom in and out, what you can do is you can press the plus key or the minus key to zoom in and out. And that'll allow your cuts to be a lot more precise, especially if you're trying to cut something along with the music, you can zoom right into the waveform and see yeah. where everything builds and drops and know exactly where to make that cut. And here's a little hack. If you're using shortcuts or if you're interested in using more shortcuts and learning more shortcuts, which we obviously recommend, you wanna hover over every button that you wanna use because it will tell you the little shortcut. If anything doesn't make sense to you, you can actually edit your shortcuts. We have videos on that, don't we? So if you wanna watch that, it's there or there. Up there. Where is it? Here? By the way, random thought, do you have a website? You enjoying this video? Cool. Couple things I'm gonna ask you to do then. One, maybe subscribe to my channel. Uh, two, listen to me talk about Squarespace for a minute. Thanks. I used Squarespace to make my website. I legitimately did, even before they paid me to do this ad. The template I chose was clean and stylish, and I literally built it myself. I really struggle with design, but Squarespace made it super easy for me to showcase my portfolio beautifully. The platform is super easy for me to customize, update regularly, and I can get analytics about the purchases made on my digital products through my online store. And I run my own business, so I don't have time to learn a whole new platform. All right, so head over to Squarespace for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can use this code right here to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Squarespace. Now back to the video. The next tip is organization. In Premiere Pro, you'll probably notice these buttons right here in the project bin. Here you can switch between list view, tile view, and freeform view. Honestly, just use whatever works for your brain. For me, I really like to use tile view. I don't know about you. Yeah, tile view is probably my favorite, but the most important thing is also to make bins. Make tons and tons of bins. And that's how you'll keep all of your different assets organized because you never know when you're gonna need to go back into that project a year from now, even though you think you don't. Little confession time, I still don't organize my projects as well, and Shh. I've been there, it's bad. <laughs> so this tip isn't necessarily inside of Premiere, but it is something that's gonna help with your organization as a whole, and that's create like a master file structure and keep that consistent throughout all your projects. So that means make one file folder and within that have your like, your assets, your project files, 
files, your audio, all of those things already laid out in all of those subfolders and they can be completely empty. And then every time you make a new project after that, you're literally just copying and pasting that file structure and filling in where you're gonna put those assets appropriately. And when you come back to that project a year later, you know exactly where everything is. And of course, I have a whole video on how to build this file structure because I know my explanation is a little confusing and that'll be linked up here as well. I think something that's really important to note here, just to take a tiggy back, <laughs> just to piggyback of what you just said, when it comes to organizing and having all of those folders, make sure, because this is a mistake that I've made a lot, every time that you download something and it ends up in your download folder, drag it to the right folder. Because if you don't do this, and then a year from now or a month from now, you're revisiting the project, you're going to be seeing a lot of red screens that say media of line, and you're going to wish that you've done that. Now, if you made it this far in the video, here is your bonus tip. If you haven't noticed, we've already gone through three, so this is number four. Tip number four is, oh my God, just like, please don't put your actual adjustments, so like your color correction, for example, on the clip itself. Please don't do that. Use an adjustment layer. And if this is your first time learning what an adjustment layer is, hallelujah, we're about to change your life. So adjustment layers are basically a transparent clip that you can put above your video clip. Yeah, above your clips. Above your clips. Yeah. Just, just above it. And when you put your color correction or whatever effect you want on that adjustment layer, you can drag it and apply it to every single clip in your timeline all in one fail swoop without actually applying it to all of your clips. So if you want to make any changes or if you want to delete it, just delete the adjustment layer and you're good to go. You don't actually, mm -hmm. you know, ruin your clips. Those were our top three tips for beginners in Premiere Pro with that bonus fourth tip. And uh, we would take our payment in the form of a subscription to both of our channels. Please and thank you. Also, uh, follow Lila, follow me. If you like this video, please give it a like down below. Subscribe. I said that already. If you're not already, hit the notification bell to get it notified for for all future videos. If you want more Premiere Pro tips, then I would seriously subscribe to Leela's channel. And that's all. Bye. That's it. <laughs> Bye.